Greetings, dear viewers. This is a prototype of a game called The Land of the Scurvy Dog. A scurvy dog because it's a pirate dog and it's a corgi. This game has been adorable so far. And it's just, I've only played a very short bit, but the little bit that I've played, I, I had to share with you folks because this is freaking adorable. The link to play this little prototype is in the video description. Again, it's just a prototype worked on, uh, being, being worked on by some students, you know. It's, it's, it's not this big AAA title, but let's get in. I want to show you folks what this is about. Okay, so the instructions are on the download page of how to play it, but you play a little, a little pirate corgi. Look at this. This is amazing. And you got like a, uh, you got like a little, uh, a little broken up ship here so the corgi just arrives on this island and you can double jump in this mode you have two modes okay oh this is so cool you have two modes you can double jump as this mode and you got your little sword and you've got multiple attacks right you got attack 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 and you got like a jump spin attack which is pretty cool and you've got another mode which is whoop, you, know, you get on all fours you just run around as a little corgi dog little pirate corgi this is awesome and you're much more nimble in this mode you're quick and it's pretty cool all right so that's what three of the buttons do we got jump we got change mode and we got attack, right? Okay, so you've, you've got those just like that. All right, and then the, the, the fourth button, which is circle on my PlayStation controller, which is emulating an Xbox controller. But on your Xbox controller, it would be B if you have one of those. But you press that and you do this. It's so good. It's a button dedicated to barking. So whenever you go into the corgi mode or you know dog mode or whatever you want to call this, but if you go into this mode, you can just run around and bark. It's so great because like it's just got a dedicated bark button, and that is fun. And above all else, video games should be fun. And this has a dedicated bark button. I don't know if it gets more fun than that. It's so cool. All right. So anyway, um, let's let's actually play through this demo. You, you run about the island, or whatever this is, collecting treasure chests full of bones. Like, coins, but they're bones, so you're running around and doing that whole bit. This is so cute. It's such a cute little game, and you got like these little obstacles right here. Now, it's supposed to be like a, a linear 3D game, like Crash Bandicoot. So exploration is fairly limited, but also not at the same time. Like, for example, one thing I noticed when I was playing earlier is that you can turn around at this point and look, hey, there's treasure chests up there, so that's pretty cool. So let's go get those, right? And one thing I find really cool is like, while most players are probably going to want to walk around with their sword out and moving around, you know, at this pace, ready to fight and do double jumps and things like that, I personally, <laughs> I pressed the wrong button so I barked, a uh, little corgi barked. Uh, I personally like running around in this mode because I like being quick. You can do really cool stuff like that. But that did drop a bunch of these bones down here. And it's pretty cool game design from the uh, developers of this game to include these steps back up. I feel like that's the thing that some some students might miss, you know? Uh, a way back up from something like that. Here's a little checkpoint flag. Now I only played slightly further than this. I was a little disappointed that I couldn't roam around here because you, you've got this awesome little speedy mode right here and you have this open land, all that open land way out there, you've got all that but um, you can't explore it, but that's fine. It's designed to be a linear game like Crash Bandicoot, so it's, it's totally okay, it's totally okay. Just one of those things. Like, I'd really love to be able to use this awesome mode. Oh, oh, this is one thing I got on my first try, so if I can do it again. Yeah, I don't know what those little corgi symbols are for, but they're there. You can pick those up too, apparently. Oh, it must have been a one-up. And this is as far as I played last time. You've got this, what is it, a parrot? I'm not sure, but you hit the tree right there, I guess, and this gives you this parrot. I don't know what this does, and this this is, this is as far as I've played. This is as far as I have played um, up to this point before I got to the point where I was... Ah! <laughs> this is as far as I, I played before I got to the point where I figured I had to share it. Okay, so I don't know what... I still don't know what the little parrot does. Oh, you can only take one hit! I see. I never played Crash Bandicoot, so I don't know if that was the case there, too. But I've been pretty bold so far, not knowing how much I, how much damage I could or couldn't take. Okay, so that's cool. No, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting too cocky. I've only got one life left. Oh no, and I ran into a turtle. Dang it. That's okay. We can get back to this point really quick. Oh, got the parrot back. Maybe it is better to take it slow. Take it nice and slow. Nah, slow is for wussies. Oh, look, can I get another parrot? I can. What's the deal with that? <laughs> I don't know what they do. This is cool. I think you're only supposed to have one, but whatever. We'll see what happens. Maybe they help you attack. I just haven't given them the opportunity yet. Let's find out. 
do oh, let's let's turn the camera around and see if I've missed anything. Oh look, there's like looks like I can jump up those steps right there and see something up there. Let's find out. Zoop. Zoop. No, I guess not. Zoop. Okay. That's cool, man. Those two different movement modes, this is pretty sweet. I want to collect a one up. Cause I'm running around. Zero retries left. We got these birds here. I'm a little worried that they deal damage. I don't want them to damage me. Okay, this is this is a pretty well designed game for a student game so far. You know, for what it is. Oh, this looks cool. And that is a golden glowing bone. We got to get that. And that's a one up. All right, so we've got to do that. We've got to go for those, right? We can't not go for those. Start off with this this easy route right here. Doop. Doop. Okay. Fun times. Fun times. Fun times. Cool. I got one of six golden bones. Ah! In this stage. Ah! <laughs> it's so cool. No, the bird. Ooh, there's a lower route here. Aha! Look what we found. We found treasure chests. It's so cool. Barking at the bird. Oh no! This bridge totally owned me. Ah! Oh wait, is there no way up now? That would be a shame. That would be a shame. There's treasure chests over there that I missed. No, we want to be. There we go. Gotta say the movement feels pretty good. Oh, the bridge respawned. It looked like. Looks like the bridge respawned there. Got some respawn action going on with this bridge. Come and get me, fallen bridge. There we go. Yeah, no getting stuck here. And here's another parrot. We got three of these now. Or do we only have two? Can't tell. That might be three, except... I don't know. There are only four keybinds for this, I thought. I don't know if I can, like, launch them. <laughs> Like, send them to attack somebody or something? I don't know. <laughs> it's a brilliant idea. It really is. The bark button. To make a game about a corgi pirate and call it Scurvy Dog, and then give the player a bark button. I really hope this developer team, this... I really hope these this team is going places, man. I really hope that they, that they can do more things. As I understand it from looking at their website, they've actually got two Android games on the market. And I'll, I'll, I'll link to the download page for this game and to the team's website as well. So you folks can see all that. See, look at these stages. They're, they're very well done. The design is good for just being a prototype. Whoosh! Whoa! No! There we go. You can jump on things too to take them out. Uh, I kind of want the camera to move a little faster. It does have a camera sensitivity option. Let's see what I can do there. There we go. It's a little more responsive, but actually it feels a little tougher to control the up and down. Yeah, that's that that's the up and down is now a little bit too sensitive. Oh well. Pull it back just a bit. And see what we can do. No, gotta go corgi mode! No! <laughs> Dang it. Wait, I got points for that? Oh, for picking up more bones. No! I didn't mean to <laughs> Corgi can't swim. <laughs> it's okay. Corgi comes right back. Let's see if we can get back there back get back there quickly. See if we can go like speed run strats on this, right? Look at this. This is madness. This is madness. We are gonna get the parrot again, just in case that's something we need later. What? I didn't fall down the hole? Oh, I touched the thorns, I guess. 
touch those briars, as the case may be. Okay, so we can't touch them. We can't touch them at all. Got it. That's where having a, a responsive camera really does come in handy, being able to make those tight turns and tight corners. Whoa, this is actually really cool when you do it as a speed run. Oh my goodness, this is so much fun. <sighs> Gotta go up this way, right? Wait, there's two ways to go now. Oh, one's just a treasure. Treasure bones. Nice. Look at this. Look at this, we're already back. Another checkpoint. Okay. We don't have to go hyper speed anymore. We just wanted to catch back up to where we were. Although I do I do feel tempted to keep doing the hyperspeed thing. Woo! I think I found a sweet spot for the camera here. Whoa, the camera auto-adjusted. I can't move it here. Now we have to do the whole left-right platformer thing, which is awkward. It feels awkward, but it's working out. As long as I don't get... Okay, yeah, okay, you can't touch the water and get taken out there. Okay, that, that kind of made sense. That kind of made sense. Oh, of course we're going for that. It's a golden bone, man. Oh, we don't have the other one, though, because we skipped it. Doing the speedrun bit. No! I thought I was going to jump on the birds and bounce off of them. Okay, I'll try again. No! <laughs> it's very easy after a restart to lose your momentum. No! See, you know what I mean? That, that, that wasn't a problem before. All right, we're going corgi mode then. Well, I guess technically we're always in corgi mode because we're a corgi pirate, but there's that. No! I jumped on the turtle! <laughs> it's, it's very specific about what you need to do there. All right, we'll give it one more shot, and then uh, I guess I will let you viewers, if we don't get to the end of the stage, I'll let you viewers download the game and find out the uh, end of the stage for yourselves. If you feel so inclined. If you have a controller, it probably works best. Because I'm using my, uh, again, I'm using an Xbox, uh, sorry, I'm using a PlayStation 3 controller, emulating an Xbox controller. And this game just works natively with uh, an Xbox controller. I don't know about any other kind of controls, but according to their website, it seems like an Xbox controller was recommended. So, there's that. According to the download page. Woo! Careful, careful. Woo! Running, 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 running. Jumping in this mode is so quick. And it feels good, too. It feels right. Did that parrot just join me randomly? I feel like maybe they did. Oh, okay, the parrot takes a hit for me. Cool. Well, now we know. Maybe that happened earlier, and I probably should have been able to figure it out, but... What ifs? No! <laughs> the, controls, the controls for that part, or the controls in general, could be slightly tighter, honestly. It still feels a little bit on the floaty side. But that's just in case this team watches this video. Oh no! Also, precision when jumping on targets is also... Something that could be worked on. I'm just very curious to see where this goes, really. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. You can do the jump you can do the jump spin attack into your double jump. That's kinda awesome. Alright, I was gonna go for that bone, but I'd rather just progress, honestly. Whoa, I forgot, forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Okay. Now which way? That's so cool. <laughs> I like that. Where am I going? Where am I going? Looks like straight out there. This, this, this game does offer a decent amount of challenge, honestly. Uh, I think a lot of that challenge, or some of that challenge comes from the, uh, the technical issues, though. So there's that. I don't know if that's how you want your game to be challenging. It, ideally, it's not, but I'm sure, you know, just being a demo is perfectly fine. Alright, so there's this. <laughs> I haven't been making enough use of that bark button, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> the standing pirate dog there. Just chill it out. Little scurvy corgi. Little pirate corgi. <laughs> e 
No, I did it wrong. I meant to go for the jump. Oh man, this is scary. One life left. One life left. Well, one corgi, I guess. One corgi retry. <laughs> Gotta make sure and get the parrot then. Zip. I think I'll just go like this. There we go. That's nice. Alright, so this part right here. This is tough. This is this is tough. No! I thought I was gonna be able to bounce on the bird! Well, there is that. I think I might have been like right there at the end of the stage though. I'm sorry, I know I said I was gonna do that one more time, but I I've gotta I've gotta keep trying. I've gotta keep trying. I don't even know why. This is one of those things that you could get really good at, you know? <laughs> no, there was supposed to be a bounce on that treasure chest. That's what I was hoping for. Is this a secret? Oh, a secret path. Look at that! This is one of the bones right here. Cool. Get the bones! <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Get the bones! I tell you, the speed running this is, is probably the most fun. No. Corgi jumping. Whoa, no, I didn't mean to do that! I switched bones on accident! And then I got to the edge and did like a super corgi jump. No! <laughs> Doggy can't swim. As you can see, the doggy's fine because when you respawn, you're still wet. So that implies that the doggy popped out. So it'll make it to shore to the checkpoint. I like that. I don't know if that's intentional, but if it is, it's a nice little touch to make you not feel bad about the doggy. And I like that. <laughs> it's a cute little game. It should stay that way. Now, I kind of wish there was like a dash so I didn't have to keep jumping. Like, in this mode, I wish I could dash for, like, double even this speed, you know? That'd be awesome. That would just feel so right. That would feel so good. And considering you don't get an attack in this mode, like, maybe that could be the dash. Because, as is, I'm jumping to get that extra speed, but having a dash would just feel, uh, just awesome with this kind of game. What? <laughs> Dang it! I meant to do the... I meant to do the spin attack. Okay, gotta remember, those birds hurt, and I can't jump on them, apparently. Okay, gotta stay away from the seagulls. Gotta stay away from the seagulls, man. Okay, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. Gotta get high up, maybe? I don't know, now it's good. No, the jump came late! Okay, I think I get one more try. Okay, good. We got this, we got this, we got this. We got this. I could get another parrot, but I'm not going to. No, we kind of screwed up a little bit, but I, I recovered. Good, good, good. Okay, so we want the bird to be up high. That way when I run, I can jump over it, or do I want to jump under it? Now. No, the jumping, the jumping. Oh, I always jump just a, like a fraction of a second too late. Am I really going this long with this game? This is crazy. This is, okay, that's a pretty good demo. If it's giving me this much play time, honestly. I kind of do want to check out their Android games now, see what those are all about! I like games that use cute concepts like this. You know, because there are a ton of games out there that are all about, you know, killing and guns and all that stuff, although I do have a sword, I guess. But there are a lot of games out there that are all about, you know, kill enemies, do all this stuff, and the cute concepts, you don't see, you don't see as many of those. Zip, zip, zip. Oh, right over the bird. I feel like we're like right at the ed the end of the stage, which is why I want to press forward with this. And if I'm not, if I get just over there and it just turns out that it's like another half of the stage to go, 
Then I'll just bring the video down. I didn't want this to be like a video that took a long time for me to edit and render and stuff like that. So, um, we'll see. So I wanted this to be a quick little thing. I didn't think this was going to be any more than like a little tiny little demo. And I guess technically that is a tiny little demo. But I thought even smaller than what it is. I'm getting the hang of the controls though, like a lot better than I was early, even like a few minutes ago. This is cool. No! 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 Freaking bird! Okay then. Gotta wait for the bridge to respawn. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Okay, I gotta remember to jump early at the edge of those bridges. Merc! <laughs> no! Dang it! I'm rushing too much now. We got, we got us a bridge here. Got us some bird action. There we go. Got some more bird action right here. Good bird though. Dang it, that button. All right, we gotta go. Gotta go standing mode for these very precise jumps here. And then here for the long jump. All right. Now we don't want it high, we want it low. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Jump. Oh, you can jump on the bird. Okay. Oh, this is the end. Yay, we did it. Oh my goodness, that's cool. Now, to 100% it. Get all of the hidden golden bones. Get all of the normal bones. Get all of the treasure chests. Get all the points. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll do that later. Probably not, because I've got a lot of stuff to do. But, you know, this is a fun little demo, man. This is really cool. I had a good time with it, so, you know. Good job to those who made this prototype. And that will do it. A viewer actually sent me the link to this so uh, thank you very much for sending me that link it's it was a very very cool very fun little game and thank you to the developers who are working on this because it seems to be that you folks are really uh, into game development and it does seem like you folks really strive to learn more just based off of what i read uh, on your website so thank you for making this very cute game and thank you very much viewers for watching i just want to put this out there though because I, I feel like some people are gonna you know think that this may be like a paid sponsorship or something like that it's not just because it's a little demo for something like this, little little prototype. Sometimes people think that these videos are, are paid promotions. This is not a paid promotion, it's just something I happened upon because a viewer sent it to me and I decided to give it a try. And when I did, I came to the conclusion that, you know what, I have to share this because it, you, you play as a little corgi and you get to bark. That's, a, that's amazing. <laughs> All right, so that will do it for this video. I hope you folks enjoyed this. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you folks next time.